Okay, welcome back to our uh, advanced charts video. So this is the part. Uh, this is part four. So if you you are here right now, just now, make sure you watch the first three videos. Okay, so let me share again to you the PowerPoint. And our next topic is actually uh, minimalist chart, but we call this as uh, the donut chart. Okay. So you can see it's just a donut. It's actually the easiest because you have to just uh, uh, highlight this table, okay, and then insert a donut chart. But we just, I'm just going to show to you how you uh, make the or the changes from this donut chart. Okay, so but for the table, it is very important that you make this in a two column where the first column is the percentage that was given to you. So we're just, we want to, uh, uh, we want to describe the performance of department one, which is 17% by the use of the donut chart. So, but a donut chart is like a pie chart or it came from a pie chart wherein uh, it is a portion, okay? It is a ratio. So if you have want to describe 17%, out of what? Out of 100%. So that's why the next column must be the complement or it must be the 17% minus the 100%. Okay, so it's 83%. Okay, so let's proceed on our Excel file. So we have to copy this, this table. We are now on slide number seven. Okay, so I might give you only one uh, number and you must get me the other one okay so but this is how you do it you cannot uh, make a donut chart without a table which is completely 100 percent okay so you have to do that don't forget that okay let's go and show the excel again okay so this is our previous chart the minimalist chart column and bar chart. So let's uh, add a new chart. I'm going to paste this. Okay, let's make it bigger for an easy recognition. Department one, 17% for the performance, the remaining is 18, 83%. So it's just a make I just made it up, the remaining, okay? So this should be 100 minus this, 17%, okay? So highlight the whole table, insert. So again, as I said, it's the donut chart is on the pie chart. So click on this, then you have 2D pie, 3D pie, and you have to insert now the donut, okay? So the donut chart has just to have a label or some labeling. Uh, yes, okay, but before that, let me just remove this legends, remove the legend. So click on the plus sign, remove the okay, so I am okay now, I'm satisfied. So just some of this uh, tweaking or enhancing of our chart what I want is to highlight this 17%. Uh, so I can double click this. Mm -hmm. Not only double, one, two, three, uh, three clicks, okay, to select the blue color. So I want to select the blue color and enhance it. So what I can do is just to make it a little bit uh, glowy. Okay, so presets. You can use this, uh, you can change the color like gray or a little bit more darker, okay. So edges, you can change the edges to, I don't know, size, no. Okay, so there's nothing there. So this is how I highlighted this. I can make this uh, uh, let's see. OK, 
can I make it 3D? No, no. So as you can see, I'm just selecting a shadow, no shadow. Uh, I'm trying uh, everything I can. So just, just this is a ten point. Okay, so the the glow is now ten point, and it's dark gray. Then change this to let's say bluish. Is it fine? Okay. Anyway, that's our um, enhancement. Now the other thing that I can give you is the. 17%. We want that number to appear here. There are two ways. The first way is uh, click here and then data label and then more options value percentage. No, the value is fine. Kelas separator and that's it. And then you can make it little bit bigger uh, highlight on the text and go to home make the font size bigger and then you can move this number to it okay so that is 17 percent there's another one on how to do this you can remove this label uh, I can add a text box okay so you can do that on the chart, you can do that anywhere on the Excel file. So what I'll do is just to add a text box. So from the insert tab, while I'm inside the chart, I will go for insert tab and add text, text box. Okay, insert, uh, and then text on the right side, then text box. So you can see where you will write this, you have to click inside, okay. So this is our uh, text pack. But once you click on this, you can see the nature uh, right now called. Once you click, it's blinking inside the chart. Then move your cursor going to the formula bar. When you click that one, okay, and then make an equal sign and refer to the 17% cell which is b2 okay i'm going to move this and that i'm going to show it to you sorry okay so this is our cell now what i'm going to do is just to increase the font size again okay so what's the advantage of this the advantage of the text box is that when you sorry, can okay, select. Yeah. Okay. Carefully put it in the middle. So this is the donut chart. So the advantage of this is that once I change the value of this, then you can see. Uh, let me change this to a formula also. Um, that it equals 100% minus this, okay, maybe 83%, so it's the same, but earlier it was constant, now I needed to make it, I need to make it dynamic. So uh, the value of this is dependent on this, and all this donut chart is dependent on this. See what I'll change I will make. If I make this 20%, press enter. It becomes 80, this one becomes bigger, and the value becomes 20%. If I make it uh, 70%, the remaining becomes 30%, your value here becomes 30%, and this one becomes bigger. Okay, so let's bring it back to 70%, and that's it. Okay, so that's our donut chart. I'm going to stop the video again. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.